Hi, my name is Tim Hanai, and welcome to the introduction video to our new programs for wine business education, including our new Wine Biz Sim uh, financial workbooks. Background for this is a number of years ago, uh, I attended a program that was uh, finance for non-financial managers, and I found it really engaging and really helpful, and that was the seed of the idea. How could we create uh, financial workbooks that could be used for running businesses and also for wine education. And uh, we're very excited uh, with the launch of our, uh, our new financial workbooks. And so let me take you through these real quickly. Um, our main site is winebusinesseducation.com. And when you get to our landing page, you'll see a number of different programs that we're developing, and we've got a new on-demand wine business education course coming up. Uh, you'll wanna look for the, wine, the financial workbooks for the wine industry. When you click on that, it'll get you to this page, and we uh, currently have three of our calculators that are set up so that you can run through them, get a feel for them, and see if, if um, if there's something you might be able to use. So I use these in my wine business classes with the Napa Valley Wine Academy. Uh, I'm on faculty and teach uh, Introduction to Wine Business with Washington State University. We're creating an intercollegiate wine business competition and all sorts of fun things to, 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 to help out in this area uh, where there's a serious lack of uh, structure and education, and that is in the finance, financial decisions and going through the supply chain and the value chain of wine and so forth. So uh, very quickly, we've got a cost of goods calculator, and the cost of goods calculator looks like this. Uh, on our paid accounts, you're able to create projects, to save them, to recall them, to clone them. On the demo accounts, uh, you basically just have an opportunity to work through them and, and see if there's something of value or interest for you. But they're set up uh, so that they give you uh, uh, a critical data on uh, your FOB selling price, how much revenue you're generating for a specific wine, uh, the cost of goods sold, the margin, and uh, so forth. It also will help estimate the tonnage of grapes required, cost of grapes, and those kind of things. Basically, uh, these TAN fields are input fields, and so you put in your name and so forth. Uh, then you get to the cost, uh, the grape cost page, uh, gives you pull down so that you can pick different varietals. You get to put in then the cost of grapes that, uh, that are, pertain to the project you're working on. Um, and uh, you can do a blend by changing the uh, percentage of total. So for example, if I wanted to do a Cabernet and a Merlot blend, I would simply then pull up Merlot. I would then estimate my cost per ton of, of that grape. And if I wanted to do an 80% Cabernet blend and a 20% Merlot blend, voila, it'll give me the, the cost uh, uh, of each wine and its contribution to the cost of goods and um, so forth. And you can add up to eight different wines for a blend. It could be that you're also blending uh, different vineyards in a single, single uh, varietal wine like Pinot Noir or something like that. Uh, in production, it gives you an option to uh, to do either a full production wine, you can actually do a, a complete bulk wine, not putting in cost of grapes, but putting in the cost of the bulk wine material you're using per gallon. And it can be anything from 100% full production to 100% of um, uh, bulk wine. It'll give you an estimation of, of your uh, grape needs once you establish how many cases you'll be squeezing from each ton of grapes. This, the, the program is preset with uh, a, a, a demonstration wine already in it, and you can go in and make the changes and so forth. 
So uh, we go from production through a barrel cost worksheet in a great amount of detail. Again, helping you also uh, at a production standpoint, understand uh, what your barrel needs would be, what those costs are and so forth. Then cellaring and storing the wine uh, after it's been fermented in any treatments, uh, picking out your packaging, and then it'll give you a complete breakdown of the grapes, your production costs, bulk wine, if any, barrel aging, cellar storage, percent of total, the dollar contribution per case, and uh, and the uh, uh, how much it's contributing to your margin. Uh, at the end of the cost of goods, uh, there's uh, a, a calculation that's in there to determine a benchmark uh, uh, for um, distribution selling price that's adding freight, landed cost, and so forth. Now, this one's just to give you a rough idea and indication. I'll show you in a minute. We've got a complete uh, calculator to do a full workup of your distribution costs. So it's really cool, a lot of fun things you can do. And on a learning uh, platform basis, it, it allows uh, uh, students to go through systematically the supply chain, the decisions that need to be made, really drill down into costs rather than these, these little infographics that always show you a bottle of wine and, and, and very uh, grossly estimated uh, costs of contribution of what goes into that bottle. So it breaks it down in great detail. Now you can print this or um, uh, to save it, but again, on in, in our education programs and in a paid subscription, you can, you can create as many projects as you want. You name them, you save them, you clone them, you can share them with others, and that's really kind of cool. All right, for marketing and sales, uh, we have uh, fundamentally what's kind of a portfolio and, and budgeting uh, program. Uh, you establish, again, uh, your name, winery name, and the kind of information it's going to look at is total revenue, gross margin, and it's going to break down uh, the sales of all your wines in a portfolio of up to 20 wines uh, through the different sales and distribution channels from your tasting room, your wine club, account direct in state if you hold your own wholesaler's license, uh, three tier system wholesale distribution and export. So the way this one works is you put in the wine, the cost of goods and your selling price and then the production. And then from there it's gonna do an awful lot of the, uh, the formulas for you um, you, you for then each wine determine what percentage of product they're selling through each of the sales channels, tasting room, wine club, account direct, et cetera. And then it gives you a sales channel report that's very valuable and gives you an ability to kind of manage, uh, and it might be that, that you've got one wine that's kind of your bread and butter, you're looking for national or, or at least regional distribution through the United States. Another wine you might just sell through the, the tasting room and wine club. Another wine you might have, have developed for export purposes or whatever. So it gives you a full breakdown. The next thing is it allows you to establish your payroll and uh, looking at uh, marketing and sales, uh, you can do uh, very small uh, winery, you know, the basics where, where people wear an awful lot of hats. And again, it's completely up to you uh, to determine what you want in each of the fields. And then also for your sales team, uh, plus it'll, it'll uh, handle, you know, fairly sophisticated marketing and sales uh, departments. Next step is establishing what your sales and marketing expenses are going to be for promotions, discount, build back, printing, travel and entertainment, et cetera and to be able to do that for both your marketing and your sales. Uh, and at the end, voila, you get your profit and loss statement. And there you go, see how well you're managing your business. Then the final uh, program that we have available right now is the wine pricing calculator. As I mentioned, uh, when we were going through the cost of goods calculator, this is much more detailed look at uh, establishing 
uh, your FOB cost of a single wine, and then uh, it'll give you a worksheet to do your direct to consumer pricing, which is just simply the transfer from production over to the tasting room and to the wine club. And we also incorporate into this a number of best practices, uh, and especially from the educational standpoint, uh, how to set up and do your accounting and, and uh, uh, for transfers, for example, from wine production to the tasting room. Uh, then we've got a worksheet that's uh, for the U.S. three-tier system. It allows you to put in, again, your FOB, and then any broker's fees, consolidation, freight, insurance, and tax, and all of the post-sale, uh, once the winery sells, then what are all the costs that go in to determine the wholesaler's uh, landed price, their markup, and, and uh, uh, so forth, so that you end up uh, with a really good idea of what, what the selling price is in both restaurant and retail and the distributor bottle selling price. Uh, we've got a separate sheet uh, to accommodate export distribution and differences with duties and taxes and, and strategies involved there. And, uh, and then finally, your retail and rice, uh, restaurant pricing. So, so you can look at different scenarios from uh, big box stores or specialty stores or uh, membership stores, grocery stores, those kind of things, each, each of which use different markup uh, schematics. And then um, uh, so, so you plug in the distributor pricing, how much they're going to mark it up, and then discount it back. Uh, what a retailer might be in terms of their markups and margins, and then the restaurant pricing. So and what's another fun part of this is you can see up in the top right, and this is with all the workbooks, if I decide, well, I'm going to work with uh, retail pricing where I know typically they use a 25% markup, uh, this, is, this is called a stepper. And if you watch these prices in, in the upper right, is I step the markup down, you can see immediately what the retail uh, impact would be on that wine. So if if I wanted to hit a twenty nine ninety nine price point, I can see that 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 would accommodate a twenty five percent markup uh, for the customer, the the reseller of the wine. So um, a lot of fun things uh, uh, with these programs. A lot of educational uh, aspects. We're working with. Uh, different state and, and regional promotional organizations. We can also customize these for our clients. Uh, we just uh, launched a great program with the Oregon Wine Board. And then we, uh, I offer a, uh, an eight-week Understanding the Business of Wine uh, online course uh, that uh, runs about five times a year through the Napa Valley Wine Academy. And it goes, actually, we use these workbooks in the course to develop uh, case studies. Uh, we have a lot of people that are looking to open wineries, uh, a lot of people that are looking for careers or career changes or enhancing their careers in the wine business. And, and also a lot of service providers, uh, uh, individuals or companies that provide accounting or compliance or marketing or, or legal um, uh, services to the wine business. So uh, contact us uh, with any questions you might have. And thank you very much. Uh, really excited to offer uh, these products. And again, it's winebusinesseducation.com. And love to talk about any kind of needs or ideas you have. Thank you very much.